And welcome back to Atlanta Living. I'm your host, Belinda Skelton. Well, if 80s music is your thing, I've got the concert for you. Coming up on July the 29th at Enola in Blue Ridge, Georgia, you're going to hear the White Animals. And I have Yay. the dr- Yay! And I have the drummer on the line, Ray Crabtree from the White Animals. And Ray, thank you for joining us on Atlanta Living. Oh, Belinda, thank you so much for having me. This is such a pleasure to talk to you about this event. You know, we're so looking forward to this. Um, I know there's a lot of Atlanta folks that have good white animals memories from back in the the SEC days. And, you know, even from uh, our our performances at Smith's Old Bar here lately, uh, we've got a lot of folks that want to come see us from Atlanta and we want you guys to come up to Enola, have a good time up there in Blue Ridge. It's going to be a great show, I'm telling you. Now, Enola uh, is just right past uh, downtown Blue Ridge on Highway 5 on the right. It's a Williamsburg-style village, and it's a great venue to have um, events, weddings, what have you. But you're having a retro fest show with the white animals, and I lived for hearing you guys when I was at UGA um, back in college. And we can talk about, you know, uh, O'Malley's. I mean, (laughs) where did y'all play back in UGA? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, we were so lucky as sort of like right time, right place for the white animals because uh, we were in a time where SEC schools were still having bands at fraternity parties. Oh, yeah. We were in a time where... MTV was in sort of its its infancy, and so we were able to sneak a couple of our videos on MTV in, oh, cool. in regular rotation. We played all over the SEC. We played up and down the East Coast uh, and, you know, out to, to California and back. But that was also during that kind of do-it-yourself record industry time where we had our own label, we put out our own albums, and uh, we we it was, you know— do it yourself. It was yeah. the white animals are coming to town and come on and rock. Y'all put well, on a you, great show, Ray. Thank you, ma'am. And, and I, I will say, you know, maybe a little prejudice, but I don't think we've lost a step over the years. No. Um, we uh, we still bring all the hits. You know, if you want to come hear this girl of mine, if you want to come hear constant attention, you want to come hear a great version of these boots are made for walking. <laughs> and, and, of course, you may hear a little Gloria in there, too, you know? Yeah. Um, I also want to say a word about the other band that's playing with us on Retrofest. There's a band called Walrus that is playing with us, and mm-hmm. they are a Memphis-based band. But some of the band lives in the Atlanta area. They are an excellent 80s dance band. They okay. do fantastic 80s dance covers. Uh, and the other thing I, I really liked about this concept um, that we're doing here is they're going to open the gates at 5. We're going to get music started at a good, decent hour. Uh, we're going to get everybody rocked out on Saturday night and get you home in time to get up and go to church on Sunday. That sounds good. And there's going to be an LED dance floor, so they're going to yes, really ma'am. get the hits flowing for you. And dancing is going to be what it's all about. And, you know, in NOLA, uh, it is going to be sort of a destination show, but there's lots of lodging up in that area. Oh, yeah. My understanding is there's a brand-new Hampton Inn that's just been built with a roof bar. And I think if you go to the Enola site to buy your ticket for Retrofest, there's a code that you can use at the Hampton Inn to get a discount on your room at the Hampton Inn. Okay. But there's also... There's also uh, you know, there's a, a KOA campground up there with rental cabins. There's other other lodging uh, options up there. Uh, and so we want everybody to come spend the weekend, have a great time, and rock out with the white animals. And Enola is spelled I-N-O-L-A. And you're going to fall in love with the venue. I mean, it's so picturesque. It has a mansion on the grounds. It has a chapel on the grounds. Um, a tent for um, a special events, and, I mean, there's even a peacock, so there you go. <laughs> My understanding <laughs> is uh, also that when you go to the Enola, I-N-O-L-A, Blue Ridge 
website, enolabluridge.com, that you can go to the page that has the ticket options. And there are, there are quite a few ticket options uh, for folks who want to come. Um, there's some that are a bit more pricey that may involve some seating and some food. And then there's some that may involve just, you know, getting in the venue. They're going to have food trucks there. So any level that you want, I think you'll be happy with it. And I can't wait to get there. I have heard so many great things about this venue. Uh, it just looks like a really wonderful place to have this great time for us. And, you know, there's a lot of bands our, our age, REM, those guys, they kind of have called it quit. Not us, baby. We're still out there <laughs> rocking. Now, how did you, you, Ray, how did you get started with the white animals? Oh, my gosh. Um, so uh, I was playing with a band in Nashville that the white animals were playing at the same nightclub. We were the Wednesday night band, and they were the Saturday night band. And when their drummer left, uh, Dr. Kevin Gray, who is the front man for the white animals, mm-hmm had seen me play and asked me to come play with the white animals, which for me was a dream come true. Sure. Um, I started playing with the white animals in 1981 uh, and am, am still going strong, still beating those drums. You know, I I went to see the Foo Fighters in Birmingham the other night, and Dave Grohl kept talking about how they had been a band for 28 years. And uh. I kept thinking, you know, Dave, try another 20 and then come back to talk to me, yeah, you know, because we're still out rocking just as hard as you are, dude, you know. So is your upper body strength just unbelievable, Ray, from playing um, the drums all those you years? Know, you know, it's very interesting because if you really think about technique for drums and, and doing it properly, it is much more in the wrist uh, and the forearm rather than really any any place else. Uh, and so, yeah, when we finished playing, my forearms, I looked like Popeye the Sailor Man. I bet. Um, they're, they're, yeah, it's, it's kind of strange the way that those muscles in the forearm kind of blow up. Uh, but just having done it all these years, you know, it, it's, that is where I am absolutely my happiest, is sitting behind a set of drums and kicking the white animals. What types of songs are we going to be hearing? What are the favorites well, that the as, crowds as a, always want to hear? Oh, well, you know, as I said, we went through a few here earlier. There's definitely all of the old favorites. You know, there's Ecstasy. There is This Girl of Mine. There's Constant Attention. There's our cover of Boots. Uh, And, of course, you're going to hear some Gloria in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we've got a a few new surprises that we're going to throw on you, too. okay. Um, You're going to hold out on us. Absolutely. You just don't have to come see the boys. We got a few for you, you know, but we definitely have all of the old favorites, too. You know, that's part of the white animals experience is is remembering those great times that you had in college and the music that you heard that made those memories. Um, oh, yeah. Or for some folks, it may be coming to hear the white animals <laughs> to remember the shows that your friends told you you were at, but you don't quite remember <laughs> That may be true for some people. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, this is going to be um, on July the 29th. So you have time yes, to ma'am. plan and get your yes, tickets ma'am. and get some lodging up in Blue Ridge at Enola or in the Hampton Inn in Blue Ridge. Make a weekend of it. Blue Ridge is a fantastic. I mean, I'm from Blue Ridge, so I'm definitely going to be there. Um, I, and I I'm going to understand gonna... that. Blue Ridge has a really happening uh, craft brew scene and some great little kind of mad science restaurants that you got to try out. And I can't wait to see the architecture. Oh, it's it was not the Blue Ridge that I grew up with. That's for sure. It's changed tremendously. So that's what I have heard is that they've made a real effort at for a, a transformative situation up there. And I I really cannot wait to get up there and see how it looks. I mean, you've got Mercier's Apple Orchard. You can't leave Blue Ridge without trying Mercier's Apple Orchard and doing a little shopping there. On July 29th, you can top all that off with a great white animal show. 
Absolutely. And I can't <laughs> wait to hear you, Ray, and your band members at the White Animals. And give us some of your social media um, tags so people can follow you. Absolutely. So um, the White Animals have a website that's up and running. It is thewhiteanimals.com. Uh, we are also on Facebook. There is a White Animals page on Facebook. There's also a White Animals fan page on Facebook. Um, and then we are on Instagram at White Animals Music. Okay, great. And this is going to be I at would, Enola in Blue Ridge? And, yep, and I would suggest people just to make it simple, come to our website, thewhiteanimals.com. There's a click-through for the Enola Blue Ridge event that you can get your tickets right there. You can sign up for our mailing list, and that way we'll know where you are, and you'll know where we're going to be. That's exactly right. Enola Blue Ridge presents the first annual Retrofest 80s music LED dance floor. That's July the 29th. Gates open at 5 o'clock. Get your tickets. Ray Crabtree. Be there or be square. <laughs> well, I don't want to be square, so I'm going to be you, there. So you got to be there, baby. We're looking forward to it. We're Absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Please uh, come. Absolutely. Your bring your family. Bring the kids. Bring everybody. It's going to be an event for all ages. If you love 80s music, the first annual Retro Fest in Blue Ridge, Georgia, with the White Animals. You've heard them all over Atlanta. Great 80s music. Ray Crabtree, thank you so much for joining us on Atlanta Living. Thank you, Belinda. Have a great one, and I'll see you up there on July the 29th. Rock on, girl. All right. You're listening to Atlanta Living only on 95.5 WSB.